Chatsworth Laundrette and Coffee Shop sits in the laid-back neighbourhood of Lower Clapton, East London. It might seem like a cute or quirky idea of combining Coffee Shop and Laundrette, but it's genius actually. The two just seem to fit together so effortlessly. And the fact that it's third wave coffee is why I've turned up with my laundry. What I'm particularly keen on is the care and attention that has been taken to make the cafe part blend seamlessly with the laundrette. Putting a third wave coffee shop inside an old laundrette also represents the rapidly changing demographic of the Lower Clapton area. I spoke more about this with Frank, the manager of the laundrette. I might put something a little bit different. My favorite is reggae. Any sort of reggae, any time. Actually, every opportunity I get. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, it's something, you know, going back to the, what, 17th century, when people used to curl their hair and, you know, their beard and all that. That's coming back. I mean, half a year as a whole is changing. I think they will feel more comfortable. More now. comfortable, yeah. There's a lot more people around. There's a lot more going on. It's making it more safer and it's bringing more, more business into the area, which is good. You know what I mean? Which is good, but at the same time, you miss that's what it was. Yeah. I bought this long red. They will tell you a lot, especially on this road. Everybody knows about it. They love coming here. I then spoke with Gina Hewitt, the person responsible for retrofitting the cafe so effectively. Um, Chatsworth Road has got um, a really strong sort of community spirit. We've been really careful um, while starting our new business to kind of take on board all of their concerns about the area and to sort of integrate our little ideas. Having like researched it quite a lot, there's nowhere in London doing it which I'm really surprised about. Well, we're at very early stages of the journey, so I think all the hilarity and the stories are yet to come. The um, counter, we've built it knowing that we couldn't, couldn't really design it, we just had to sort of build around what fitted into the space. I didn't want it to be reclaimed wood because everywhere's kind of done that now and I'm really bored of seeing it. Rich, he did the work for us and he was like, well, where's the washing machines that used to be there? And we were like, oh my God, that's brilliant. So making that happen um, was probably one of the best moments. Now it's time for the tasting. Chatsworth are currently serving Caravan Coffee Roasters. Excellent coffee. So I will try two today from their house blend. Right, we have two coffees today from one blend. It's a blend of a Brazilian and a Guadalupe Co-op Colombian. So one flat white. Smooth, very smooth, gentle, and one espresso. Tangy, fruity, and zesty. What's going on? The culprit has to be the milk. The milk in this case is suppressing any of that zinginess. I've had flat whites where you retain a lot of that complexity and sharpness and it all comes through. In fact, it was probably designed to be a milk blend, so it will cut through. This one, however, is, for me, suffering from not breaking through the milk barrier. All that's left in my flat white is some kind of gentle, nutty aroma. But by comparison with the espresso, it's night and day. What you have here is something explosive, lightning in a cup. Say hello to Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Okay, so my summary is as follows. The coffee, while being from the excellent caravan, would be even better in my opinion if they offered some of their single origin or some other brewing methods. But given that the cafe is very new, I'm sure this will happen. The atmosphere is perfect. Laid back staff and surroundings make it one of London's mellowest cafes. And with gentrification rapidly changing Lower Clapton's neighborhood, Chatsworth Laundrette seems like a sort of symbol of the old and the new blending together perfectly. 
If you want to find out more about the Chatsworth Laundrette and Coffee Shop and other exciting things in the world of third wave coffee, then don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.